stand up for your right. Well, hello there. Welcome to episode 40 of the Daily Decrypt, independent member of the LTB network. I'm your host, Amanda, and today's episode is brought to you by New Bits. Let's just start by saying it. Today is the day. Bitcoin, Black Friday. But you don't have to run for your life because you don't have to leave your living room. And there is not one, but there are two websites competing to list the best deals today. BitcoinBlackFriday.com and BitcoinBlackFriday.info. Some interesting deals out there right now are from Mephisto's Laboratory, which is offering a 50% discount on cannabis seeds. There's Arrowhead Grass-Fed Beef, which can be real hard to find. There are discounts on Genesis Mining Pool contracts. And yes, the day has finally come. The profits of all gold, silver, platinum, and palladium sold by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage today at rrbi.co will be donated to antiwar.com. Tour de Meester is founder and economist at Adamant Research, which is a newsletter on crypto investment strategies. And Tour recently did an AMA, an Ask Me Anything session, uh, at the Bitcoin.com forums. And he provided some interesting resources to the people there. For example, an 18-page guide called How to Position Yourself for the Coming Bitcoin Rally. And then there was this graph of how he increased both his Bitcoin and Litecoin holdings by you know, trading between the two at specific times, and he shows when. And he gives this interesting answer that someone asks called, Are early Bitcoin adopters at risk of developing tunnel vision? Stuff like that. So the link to the AMA is posted below, as well as the Adamant Research homepage, where you can sign up for the newsletter, which I have done. If you are a coding, tinkering, hacking person and have ever wondered what it's like to, hey, build your own blockchain and set its specifications, uh, there's a blog called Make Bitcoin Great Again that actually shows you how they are doing this thing using what's called multi-chain. Multi-chain is a fork of Bitcoin Core, and as this blogger puts it, you can build your own private blockchain in 90 seconds. The blockchain that you design can have native tokens or not, and it can have special permissions on who can access it. And it is compatible with existing Bitcoin protocol and APIs and transaction formats. The client is a free download at multichain.com, and this sort of thing could be seen as fun or also potentially profitable because, as you'll remember, there are a lot of big, slow, establishment legacy companies shelling out a shit ton of money for people to dapple in this kind of stuff for them. Survey! Daily Decrypt Survey! Do you know of a WordPress plugin which generates new Bitcoin tip addresses? If you do, there is a Redditor who would like to know what that is. She writes that she tried the aptly named WordPress Bitcoin Tips plugin and that it does not work. And so if you know of one that does, or say you know of like a non-WordPress workaround, like I've wondered before, like can mycelium gear be used to achieve this same effect? Uh, if you have got a workaround, do leave your, your sweet, sweet knowledge in the comment section below, and I can include it in a future Daily Decrypt report. Thanks in advance. Today, News BTC published an article about how to airbrush your bitcoins, which is a strange term for launder them, clean them, mask the source from whence they came, and who doesn't like clean laundry? But the process they outline is just wicked long. It takes days and it's complicated and it involves fees and risk. And like, wow, wouldn't it be nice if people didn't have to go through all of those steps to maintain the fungibility of Bitcoins? That's where BIP47 might come in. You may remember us mentioning BIP47 is the reusable payment codes protocol that wallets can implement. Much like the dark wallet stealth addresses, which never took off. Well, have any wallets implemented it, you ask? Good question. There is currently one called Samurai Wallet, which is in alpha stage and is offering alpha access if you would like to test it out. And they're the first wallet implementing BIP47. And now, of course, payment codes will only become useful if they are widely adopted. But think about other BIPs like BIP32, hierarchical deterministic addresses. Like, almost all wallets have that now. And so if it's useful enough for people, it's going to happen. And you can be the first to be using a BIP47 compliant wallet. 
Tonight is the crypto pub crawl on St. Laurent Street in Montreal. This particular street has at least six Bitcoin accepting venues and patrons will be stopping off at a restaurant and a bar and a nightclub among other places. And these crypto pub crawls have been held successfully elsewhere as well, like Copenhagen and Arnhem and Singapore. And if you've ever considered throwing one of these, it can actually be a profitable, can and should be a profitable venture for you because the people who throw them get sponsors and then they sell tickets so that people who don't know what Bitcoin is and have never used it can purchase tickets for fiat, right? And then when those people show up and show their tickets, people help them set up a Bitcoin wallet on the spot and send them a corresponding amount of Bitcoin to the ticket that they bought. And so it's a great way not only to hang out with other crypto people, but also to make a welcome and accessible invitation to non-crypto people to totally sign up and join your crew. So good luck, St. Laurent crew, and have fun. Today's episode has been brought to you by NewBits, which is the cryptocurrency pegged to the US dollar. Check out the NewDroid mobile wallet in action, which is available in the Android App Store, which also features the Shapeshift API to convert your cryptos from one to another, making new bits accepted anywhere Bitcoin is. If you would like your crypto to reflect the stability of the US dollar, you can learn more at newbits.com. And it's time to get your poem on. That's right, I said your poem. If you want, I would be delighted if you would leave a haiku in the comment section. Remember, that's five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. I'll leave an example for you. And I want the haiku to be about your vision of the crypto future as it will look in five years. So go. And now will you see the light? You stand